Hello, this today is here. It's been a hundred views of that, right? Does it show up in there? It's fuzzy. I don't know why. There we go. Maybe hundred views since about the same time yesterday, roughly. And today it's uh, 1246 January 7th, Sunday, 51 degrees out. 27, 2018. 2018. There we go. Okay. So, and of course, it probably says it better on. Well, it still doesn't show the year on this toy, but anyway, okay. So here are the pictures that I took when I took this thing apart. Um, let me just race. That's the front, okay. That's the uh, input end. It's got all your stuff there. Phono line in. Uh, I wanted to, anyway, so there's all that. And, and there's the back. It takes 8D batteries, okay. There's the battery compartment. There's the tune end. Okay, that's the top. And this has, you know, like I keep telling people to look for it, has a selectable line in right there. So that's what you're looking for is a selector switch. For those of you that buy the radios that have the RCAs on them that don't have the selector switch, you cannot play your music through it unless you go through the recording circuit. And that's the bottom. And that's the screws on the back. And that's how it flops open from the front. Okay. That's the uh, see here. Well, it's upside down. I think there's three ohms on the woofer, and uh, I don't know what the tweeter is because it's covered by uh, it's covered by whatever that is. So, but who cares? All right. Um, this is the tape deck view. All right, and that's just both sides view. That's very helpful for where all these zillions of screws go and such. Okay, this is the uh, all these wires, uh, how they laid out, and how they how they go. Because there's a lot of very nice. that Panasonic has clips for plugs for everything. So um, I mean, here's one. There's one. Here's one. There's here's one. There's one. I think there's one. I mean, there's just a whole lot of them on here. It's just the other view, you know. And then, now I'm just showing the, the wires here. Okay, and then this here has got a grounding wire that goes to, I can't remember what, but that also plugs in along with the uh, antenna wire, which is a white one. And just more detail here. Um, and then this screw you have to take out with, along with that other hidden screw right there to remove the tuner, along with there's some more screws on the circuit board. So you gotta re you gotta remove the tuner first before you can take out the tape deck. Just want to let you know that. There's a screw over here. Okay. Um, I'm just pointing to where these extra wires go. This one for this little uh, stereo light goes right there. Okay. And then just that's the power lead for that there. Okay. Here's the um, finally got to these sliders and was able to clean them real nice. So they work real good. And I'm just showing the picture. That's the back side of the tuner. Okay, and that's what it looks like without the tuner in it. And again, no tuner. Okay, now here they finally got the tape deck out, only held in place by three screws. Okay, and that's just how the belt's routed. This has just one belt and um, geared and idler tire. So here's an idler tire here. And then here is the other idler tire right there. These were good, or you know, they still worked, and the tape, the belt was still pliable, so I left it alone. Uh, that's the nice thing about Panasonic, so I use nice wide flat belts, they last practically forever, or at least a very long time before they go to, and they don't. Most of the time they don't go to goo like some tape belts do. This here is the recording bar. No one's ever seen one before. It's right there. It goes from here to there and is actuated by uh, by this uh, by that right there. Okay, so there's that, and that was it. So and then here are just as I sold the 5600 here, I wanted to take some pictures to show the similarities of the tweeter design versus the 5600 and the 5280. That's why this is here. And also just showing the size of it 
I wish I'd taken a video of these pictures, but I didn't. So there's that. All of these are for sale, by the way. They're all for sale. And that's just another view. And a view to that side. And, <laughs> and um, I don't know what these... Anyway, that's just centered. Another picture. And uh, like I said, uh, the M50 is not for sale, but the rest of these are. Uh, all of these are ready for sale, except for whatever that is, and that model, I don't, uh, it's a Sears, I think. I think that's a Mitsubishi. Yeah, it's a Mitsubishi um, 5, uh, oh, my mom's calling. Hi, Mom. Hello? Hello. Oh, Jenny, Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right. That's fine. Sure. Okay. All right. All right. Love you too. Bye-bye. And that was mom on the phone. So, <laughs> telling me where lunch is at. Uh, anyway, I'll let this fly. See, so what were these pictures? Oh, that was the Mitsubishi. Okay. Mitsubishi. Um, Mom's at church, by the way. Or she was at church where I was just at previously. But I went to the early service where she goes to the uh, 11 o'clock service because, well, I can't stand her driving. <laughs> she can't, didn't like mine. Because I drive slow and she drives fast. All right, enough of that. So these are just more comparison pictures of the... Well, where'd it go? It's not here. Wait. Hang on here. Did I, I didn't hang up end call. There we go. Um, what is that? 5300. Okay. Oh, here. Oh. Okay. Well, I collected too many pictures. All right. Okay. Well, here's a, again, the, um, what is that? That's a, 8585, which is my next project. How much time do I got on here? Eight minutes? Okay. Well, anyway, this is my old apartment where I used to live. There's the, yeah, there's the, um, there's the, wait a minute. That's a, that's the 5280. What is this? That's, uh, I can't remember. I get mixed up on these models. Okay, well, maybe that is the 5600. Okay, I think it is 5600. And there's a Lasonic, which I still have. But, um, anyway, just, what is this? Why is this here? I don't see the 5280. Okay, well, wait, here's the, okay. All right, yeah, so here's the 5600, the 5280, and the uh, what is that? The Sears? No, Se no, General Electric, uh, Blockbuster, whatever model number that is. Okay, and then here's again the, the, the similarity between the grit, the cruder grills. Okay, and again, how many pictures I take? Oh, that's it. We're done. Okay, great. So now let me pick up the this thing here. Move the camera. Move that. Okay. So yeah. So now move the camera. Wide it out some. Right, wide out. Nine minutes. Okay. Hi. All right. So now what I want to show is, okay, what I want to do is I'm going to take this thing here, which is the Radio Shack microphone. Show my, here it is. Okay, so here I want to plug this in real quick. So I'm just going to put it on me and plug it in to the, where is it? Come on now. 
so now left right okay. now if I hit play on this it's, see it's uh it's plugged in all right so and is delivered okay and I'm just going to go over here and note the time it's 29 okay so if I'm talking pretty close here to the uh, input this, side this is the uh, and that microphone now I'm going to come over here to uh, this side here and talk pretty close to the uh, microphone on this side which is I guess the tune end okay and so now I'm going to come back and just I'm not going to run this too long so, so this is the stop. same Started. tape right. butter them on that's the same tape that I made yesterday outside. Uh, made this tape, that tape outside yesterday. Okay, but I'm kind of doing this backwards. I like to make the how I took it apart and fixed it um, versus uh, do it. anyway. Do this one first, and then take it outside and play. But I did it backwards here because things are just always happening around here. So, but anyway, so here's this model here. And uh, once again, I just, uh, it's for sale. I'm asking $250 on it. Don't say that in the video too often, but because I'm going to this radio, it's got, you know, it's got a little blemish here. And it's got a little blemish there. And, um, you know, it looks, you know, someone used it maybe as a painter or something like that. So it's got some paint flecks on it somewhere, hither and yonder. And, uh, yeah, but it still works fine. Um, let's see here. Uh, if I unplug it, there's the plug. Okay. Let's see if I can just open the battery compartment here. Let's see if you can see that. Oh. I can't do that no more. But it still works. Uh, as you just heard it plugged in. It was working yesterday on batteries. And uh, I'll just have to end it here because that's all I know. I've totally gone through it. It's, uh, Works fine. It's for sale, uh, and I'm having too much fun here. I don't want to make this too long, but I gotta do other things now. So good day, bye bye. Hope you enjoy it. Right? So uh, bye bye. Right? Hit the other button.